Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how to use carried package, which is a short for classification and regression training in R, for the k-fold cross-validation method. This package is extremely useful for implementing the k-fold cross-validation method. We introduce it here and then we are going to use this package when we do supervised and unsupervised learning techniques. So on the screen you see a gender gap data set. This data set is composed of salaries in $1000 for 200 project managers in small to middle sized firms in Boston area. So we are going to use this data set in order to analyze whether there is a gender gap in salaries or not. In addition to the salaries you can see that the data set is composed of firm size, the manager's experience in years, whether the manager is a female, or not and whether the manager has a graduate degree or not. So first we are going to import this data set. Let's set our working directory. First we are going to import gender gap data into a data frame and label it my data. So we type my data is equal to read.csv in the parentheses and quotation mark gender underscore gap dot csv. Next we are going to install carrot package. So we will use install dot packages and the package name in quotation mark carrot and control enter and R is downloading the package and to activate this package we use library carrot and control enter on some computers you might also need to install other packages that support the carrot package using this command so we do install dot packages but we are not going to only download carried package but also dependencies depends and suggests and then control enter So this process also downloads other related programs that you need for care. So if you use this command, make sure that it may take time. So do not worry about it because there might be a lot of packages on R that is depending on carried package. This is not a necessary step, but if your carried package doesn't work, you should use this step to install dependencies. Next we use the train control and train functions. For options within the train control function we use methods to specify the sampling method. Here we denoted uh, CV for cross validation and number to indicate the number of faults. So let's call it my control. My control is equal to train control and open the parentheses method is equal to CV for cross validation and then comma number is is equal to 4 because we are doing four fold cross validation and then control enter within the train function we specify the model and then set the following options data to indicate the data frame method here denoted as LM for linear model and tr control to indicate the variable defined when using the train control function. So we have two models here and one of them is a linear regression model in which salary is the response variable, size, experience, female, grad are the predictors. The second model, again salary is the response variable, size, experience, female and grad are also predictors but we add interaction variables such as female times experience, female times grad, size times experience. Let's first write model 1. Model 1 is equal to train and our model is salary, response variable, size and then experience and then female and then grad and data refers my data this is the data frame we use method is least square so that is going to be in quotation mark lm and then next tr control is equal to my control and that's it now control enter so model one is created under environments pane you can type here also model one 
and then control enter to be able to see the results. So next we are going to create model 2. For model 2 it's very similar to model 1 but we have additional predictor variables. So let's copy this model and change to model 2 and train salary size experience female grad plus we are going to add female times experience plus female times grad and plus size times experience and then here we can get the remaining command here and then control enter so model 2 is created under environments pane again model 2 control enter you can be able to see the results here so let's compare the results our reports the average root mean square error you can see here root mean square error as well as other measures the average root mean square error is 12.64 for model 1 and 12.33 for model 2 but these results may change okay because r is choosing randomly the data set for training and validation so these results might change and it may not be the same results that you find so if you rerun this comment, you will find out that R is going to give you a slightly different result. With both methods, however, we find that model 2 is better for prediction purposes. We can easily modify the train control function to implement a repeated k-fold cross-validation method. For instance, suppose we wanted to implement a four-fold cross-validation that is repeated five times. So we are going to type the following command for this. My control is going to be this time train control method is going to be repeated cross validation and then number is going to be four and then repeats is going to be five and you can use this instead of the first my control that we don't specify the repeats so this is how you can use carrot package with the linear regression model thank you for watching this video